Hey guys, Morning Reaper here. I um, bet you probably weren't expecting another TV series review so soon, but I just finished the new Transformers series, War for Cybertron, which is on Netflix now. The this is the first chapter of it, subtitled Siege. And there's two more chapters, obviously it's, it's a trilogy. I uh, no idea what to expect from the second one. All I know is that the title of the third one's been leaked and it's... And if the leaks are true, it's going to be called Kingdom. So yeah. And definitely looking forward to seeing those. But... And if any the siege is anything to go by, then yeah, those should be good. I very much enjoyed this fairly short series. It's only six episodes, twenty five minutes long each, so you probably been through it easily enough. But what's in these episodes is great. There's it's obviously all about the war for Cybertron and you know, essentially, the views of the Autobots and the Decepticon, and it makes some really it has some really good interesting things to say about you know the price that both sides are willing to pay, to pay just to achieve the, you know the end of the war, and it shows the like, you know, even those on like on those on this on either side aren't can't aren't necessarily on board with their you know their views most like some of the time, which is I'm not going to spoil how events unfold, but there's one character uh, name sounds like Jetfire um. He has a pretty interesting arc in the second half of the series, and the, there's also other interesting things like like how Bumblebee became an Autobot because this series does something really interesting. It sets him up as like a nomad, like a smuggler of Energon, who gradually you know, becomes an Autobot. Uh, the circumstances, which I won't spoil how, but it's the the it's really well animated. Like, the whole series is really well animated. The old G one designs translate really well to this three D almost mix of three D and two D style, and yeah, and all the Cybertron settings look great, and there are some really beautiful scenes like there's a scene where Bumblebee like has a vision and he meets like Alpha Trion which uses <laughs> which makes really great use of like pinks, purples and blues. And there's another scene in the Sea of Rust which which oh boy it's which makes which looks great with its use of like vibrant reds combined with like Really murky browns and really dark blacks. Uh, yeah, it's a treat for the eyes. And yeah, yeah, the voice acting was great as well for the most part. My, my one little like nitpick I have with the series is that it's kind of disappointing that you know. There's not like the original voice actors for the Transformers, it's like loads of new ones. So it takes a bit of getting used to, especially for Optimus Prime. Like, because, you know, the Optimus Prime voice is so iconic. Uh, but the, the guy that voices him in this series does a good enough job replicating that like, iconic Optimus Prime voice. But yeah. Uh, really solid series and a really good start to the trilogy. I'm really hoping chapters 2 and 3 deliver.
Deadpool can suck because man, we have moved so far past Michael Bay Transformers. Uh, Bumblebee set this set the Transformers universe on the right path, and I, I hope it sticks to it. At least from this series, anyway. We're, we're sticking to this path. We're not going back to jagged bits of coloured metal rolling all around the screen as explosions go off and, and stuff. No. What we're getting is, is Transformers. Everything the fans wanted. Whether it be live action, anime like this, we're getting it. And that makes me really happy. So yeah, those are my thoughts on War for Cybertron Siege. You watch War for Cybertron Siege? Let me know down in the comments. What did you think of it? Uh, what What are your opinions on the Michael Bay Transformers films? And do you think that the future Transformers project under this new rebooted continuity can deliver? So yeah. That's it for this video. Uh, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new and turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. <laughs>